we were, I mean, just uh, your typical family. I mean, kind of living life, kids going to school, worrying about college. So I was a freshman at Hamilton College in New York and I started feeling really funny while I was there. I was already feeling really out of breath just from doing little things. All summer she'd been tired and so we just thought, mm -hmm. she's a tired teen. She just wasn't getting better and was throwing up and I just thought, I better go check this out. Something's, Not right. it just felt funny. She took me to the children's hospital and while we were there, they discovered that I had had a stroke. A big clot from my heart had gone up to my brain and that I had heart failure. I don't, Hannah is a very funny, kind, loving person. She's one of my favorite people ever. It just was overwhelming because things had gone from zero to a hundred so quickly. It was when we got to the UW that we kind of realized that I would actually need a heart transplant. It's very unusual to have that plaque in your artery. Less than a 2% chance that this would have happened. Less than, I mean, and that's not the heart failure, that's what happened during surgery. I mean, it just shouldn't have happened. You know, initially she couldn't move at all. Then she could move her right arm and her left leg. And, and she could walk. Uh -huh. Then she could sing to any music, but still didn't really talk. I wasn't able to do much. I wasn't able to throw on the wheel, which I used to love doing. Throwing on the wheel, it's like um, pottery. You know, like you have the wheel that goes around in a circle. She's going to be removed from the transplant list, and so you got now. So let's do it. Let's live. I first heard about Outdoors for All from my physical therapist. She just told us that there was this place where we could go biking that like had like adaptive bikes. The biking was really fun because my mom could sit next to me, and she could steer for me. It was awesome. So rock climbing was really great for me. They put me in a full bar body harness though, because um, you know, in case I passed out or something up on the wall, like they could easily get me down. Yeah, I, I, I'm terrified of heights, so I, I stayed on the ground. And <laughs> he clearly had not climbed before. <laughs> I was once afraid, really afraid of heights, but now that I can't see, it's fine. I don't know how high up I am. <laughs> Her determination to get to the top and fight for it, even though I, she had to be exhausted and she was sweaty. She came down and the grin on her face, I, it was pure joy. Oh, I cried. I mean, we thought we might never see her walk again, so to see her to be able to climb and see her so proud of herself was, mm -hmm. yeah, really emotional. It just felt empowering. Like, once I got down from at the end of it, like, I always felt so, like, empowered and, like, I can do anything, kind of. It's only been a year, but it has definitely been a crazy one and one that we weren't expecting. But I think it's given us an opportunity to grow closer as a family and find other ways to be happy. Before all this happened, I was really shy. I wouldn't talk to very many people. I think it's made me more outgoing. I'm still learning to live with this. You know, being blind is really hard, but being able to rock climb and do fun stuff like that makes it kind of less hard. They're amazing. The outdoors have always been important to us. Hiking, camping, I don't know, biking, boating, whatever we've spent a lot of that time and it, we weren't sure that was something we would be able to do anymore their volunteers are so friendly and open and they figure it out if they meet you at whatever level you need you know does hannah need anybody climbing next to her great we're going to bring in more volunteers and have a team climb next to her if that's what she needs i mean they do give you it sounds so silly they give you that piece of life that is what life is about living the the, the fun, the joy, the, like, what is it all about? It's not about just work, 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 right? It has to be about more. I mean, we're really even just 
six months in from like true disability, right? We're, we're babies we're at it. We're scratching the surface. And we still have so much. And we still have Hannah. I, I mean, really, and we have, we have Hannah, like, with us. Thank you, Outdoors for All. It really helped me realize that life is worth living. Outdoors for All is great.